week trying to just relax and get over everything, have a nice little Friday night cocktail, um, made a huge decision this week that could potentially change the rest of our lives. Um, and the last time we did that, we knocked down a house that we bought and had never seen and documented the whole thing on a blog. Uh, we fell out of that after the house was completed and we were kind of settled. Um, so we decided this time that we would keep up with the times and do a vlog. So here we are on our very first vlog. Cheers. Cheers. So, what happened this week? Uh, well, the big news is we decided to buy a boat. Something that we've been toying around with for three or four years in our heads and we've thought about it and said maybe we could do this or maybe we could do that and really it's always been kind of a you know a pie in the sky pipe dream uh, you know the real world beckons you can't go sailing around the world just because you want to um, but uh, yeah so that's been happening for the last three or four years and, and the reason that we've been toying around with it is because I'm the kind of person that has a brain that doesn't stop thinking um, and Seven and a half years ago, when we got married, we went on our honeymoon in St. Lucia. We chartered a uh, captain 34 foot sailboat called the One Time. And it was magical. magical. Yeah, exactly. The, uh, the sails went up, the engine went off, and my brain stopped. It was the first time in, uh, what, 28 ish years at that point in my life that that had ever happened. Um, and so we're going to get into it, but we, after the events of this week, we've decided that we're just going to go ahead and do it. So yeah, we're buying a boat. Yeah. Um, a little more. So we've sailed, not a lot, but are definitely not, you know, complete novices. Um, when, after the honeymoon trip, we really didn't get back on a boat for quite a while. Um, my mom took Charles and I to Charleston for a vacation and one of the things that she planned for us while we were there was a captained like charter on a catamaran it was like a 40 foot maybe 42 foot catamaran and it was the first time that I had ever been on a catamaran I believe it was the first time you yep. had yep. other than those like large like cruise catamarans that have like 100 people on them that you can take which we also did in St. Lucia um so it was just amazing how comfortable it was um, to be out there on the water and Charles just started talking to the captain about everything asking him questions asking him about the lifestyle asking him about the boat like he let him drive the boat like and at some point Charles looks to my dad and is like I'm gonna learn how to do this and my dad like didn't know Charles very well at the time we hadn't been married very long and he thought okay you know that's something people say <laughs> Now, my dad would tell you, when Charles says, oh, I'm going to learn how to do this, like, he's going to learn how to do it. When he says something, he means it. So, um, he went ahead and signed up for sailing school on this little itty-bitty lake in Georgia. He asked me if I wanted to join him, and I was like, absolutely not. Um, giving up four Saturdays in a row, all day long, in the middle of the Georgia heat, to sit on a little lake and learn how to sail? No. You are a hobby serial collector <laughs> and I thought that this was just going to be another whim I thought it was going to be another like Charles wants to learn how to do this but it, you know once he figures it out he'll be done with it um so, but I told him if you really love it after this first certification I will join you um so come Christmas time I had to join him. <laughs> he uh, had gotten through the certification. He loved it. He couldn't stop thinking about it. So we uh, took a Christmas trip to the British Virgin Islands, and I got three certifications that trip. Charles got two because he already had one. I got my 101, 103, and 104 sailing certifications. Charles got his 103 and 104, and at that point, we could captain boats like we could charter our own boat and be our own captains um for a monohull but we had one last thing to do which was charles went ahead we went back to the dvi we brought some amazing friends with us um we got our last certification 
Charles got his last certification on the first day of that trip. Um, so he could captain a catamaran, which is what, 116? 114. 114. Um, and then after that, we were on our own. We were setting sail with our friends, and it was just such a great vacation and such a feeling of freedom that we've done it twice more since then, um, where it's just, you know, us on the boat or us and our friends on a boat. And just like the feeling of freedom that you have and the feeling of being able to give that experience not only to yourself, but to the other people in your life is just, it's so rare and so, just so freeing. Um, so really, like every time we step off the boat, we're like, when can we go again? And it's just like really, really sunk in um, that it's something we desperately want to do all the time. Yeah, so for keeping track uh, about the timeline, that was about two years ago that I went on the lake in Georgia and got that initial certification. Radar! Hey! Hey, Radar! Buddy. Come, come here. here, sweetheart! Come here! Hey! You have to come here. Do you want a treat? <gasps> okay, I'll be right back. That's fine. Should I keep going or are we Yeah, go! Ahead? Okay. Sorry about that. Uh, so, it's been about two years since I got the initial certification. We have been down to the Caribbean four different times, three times on our own. Um, and that brings us to this week. Uh, we've always worked for startups, and startups are inherently riskier uh, companies to work for. And while my job was never in jeopardy this week, uh, my company's not growing as we expected it to. We had to lay off about 13% of our employees, and that's a tough week. It really makes you think about the longevity of the company. I think it's still doing the right things. I'm really excited about it, but uh, again, it just makes you take stock of where you are and is this what you want to do? Um, the biggest thing that it really hit home with is that we have this amazing home in Midtown Atlanta, um, but it's a little, if, if I don't have a job, let's put it this way, if I don't have a job, it is, a little much. we can't keep it. Yeah, um, a little much. So we're fortunate enough to be in a wonderful financial situation where we thought about downsizing. If we got a condo in Midtown, then there would be no stress whatsoever. I could keep the job or lose a job, and we'd be perfectly fine um, and, and have no nothing to worry about. Um, so we went and looked at a condo. Uh, it was actually really nice, a nice corner unit in one of the nicer buildings in Atlanta. Um, and I think the next morning we were at the gym and we just kind of looked at each other and we were like, why are we talking about a condo? We want to live on a boat. We want to go sailing all the time. Like, why don't we just buy a boat? Now here we are. <laughs> um, we make decisions fast in this family, definitely. So in the last week, we went ahead and made a couple of, of moves towards this goal. Like, you know, it's not going to be an overnight thing, but you have to get started somewhere. So we started looking online um, at the options that are out there. You know, we've only done charter catamarans. So we don't really know all the make and manufacturers of all the catamarans that are out there. Um, so we started looking around, familiarizing ourselves with them. Um, there is a great couple of people that are out there living on sailboats that like we have we religiously watched their videos, kind of like um, living through them and their experiences. Um, and we looked at all of their information on like advice that they have to give on kinds of boats, types of boats. Um, and so we just really started, you know, creating documentation, like what are we interested in, what do we want, um, definitely is looking at things like price and budget and um, just trying to get all of that information together. So definitely something we're going to continue to work on. <laughs> um, so we did that and then we decided like, you know, this house is wonderful, we love it, but it might be the thing that's holding us back, and that's definitely not something we want. So we went ahead and scheduled somebody to come out and take pictures of it so that we could potentially list it um, as soon as next week. So what's next? Uh, we're sitting here, it's Friday night, and uh, honestly, I don't know, right? There's a million different ways that we could go about this, and every day, I yo-yo on the best way that I think that we should do this. We could do this. We could do that. We could spend a lot of money. We could spend a little money. Um, so what we really need to do is get our ducks in a row, especially around the finances. That's really step number one. Um, and
And so throughout the last couple of years, I have been in contact with a couple of different brokers on a whim. Uh, one of them introduced me to a guy who is, uh, he calls himself the Yacht CFO. He is an expert in how do you buy a boat and treat it as a business. Um, so one of the ways that we may end up doing this is the car. Um, we may end up buying a boat and putting it in a charter company. And if we do that, then that entails a whole bunch of stuff. Or we could buy a boat and live on it ourselves and maybe treat it as a business at that point. Um, but so we have a consultation with a guy who knows all of the ways that you can do this uh, next Monday. So not three days from now, but following Monday. Um, so that's really step number one. Um, step number two is we're, uh, we had already planned on going to the Annapolis Sailboat Show in October. Um, super excited about that. It's a birthday present for me that uh, will really, I think, help us lock down what we want to get in a boat. We can get on a lot of different kinds of boats that, uh, at the same time that would take a lot of effort trying to track down each and every kind of boat. Um, and uh, yeah, maybe listing the house. Maybe the house is the thing that, that holds us back. I think that really, that and the, the actual how do we do this from a financial standpoint is the, the two biggest unknowns. And um, getting those two things solved are really going to help us put a lot of things uh, into perspective. Yeah, and into motion too. And like, into motion, yep. Until we kind of have that information, I feel like we're just stuck a yep. little bit. I will say that we do make decisions quickly, and this is one that can't be made quickly. Um, and that's going to be really difficult for us. So that's another part of the reason why we're doing the, uh, the vlogging. Um, it's going to help us slow down and pay attention to what we're doing and make sure we're making the right decision. Um, so hopefully it's enjoyable for you. Hopefully it's enjoyable for us. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think it will be for us. But uh, I think we'll have fun doing it. But it's just waiting has never been our, our thing. I remember when we were trying to find the house to buy, it was just like, you know, we were scouring the internet every like couple of hours, like maybe somebody's listening to us. Uh, and really, you just have to wait for that perfect situation to come around, that perfect, you know, bow, that perfect year, the perfect price point, all of that. Um, and so that might take a minute, and I, I know that'll be hard on us, but we'll get through it. Yep. Um, so if you're still watching, that means you probably know us. Um, <laughs> but if you have come across this and you don't, um, please, or even if you do, please feel free to toss in some comments, some suggestions, some feedback. We'd appreciate all of it. We will. Anyone who's done this before, we'd love advice. Please. <laughs> um, and we will, you know, hop on and respond as best we can. And if you're interested in following us and on this journey, just go ahead and hit subscribe. Oh, and toss us a like because, you know, we like likes. Important. <laughs> SEO. There you go. Cool. All right. I think that was it. So, um, we'll be back sometime soon. And definitely after we meet with the tax guy to give y'all a Cheers to new adventures. Cheers to new adventures. Woo! I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I'm